cleaning. The room tea boys. The room tea boys. Pyramid. This is what we're talking about, man, isn't it? Look at that. Ba -ba Boom. Get, get, keep on. Jane, this bit loops down here. No idea. Will we gamble? I think it will. Let's go. Listen to your inner <laughs> obstacle course, man. Oh, big dory. There you go, trips. We'll go back. Here's a nice wee wedge of wood if you need it. Right, let's go, team. Oh, ice. These are unbelievable. Come on, trips. Let's go. Do you know? Glasgow Celtic. Green and white. Maybe like a half. That one curves at the top. I think it says a difficulty. Up there. <laughs> the. Yeah, like how inclined it is, maybe, or something. Ba, 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 ba. Come on, trips. Let's go ice skating. Unreal foosball, billiard, campfire set up. That was me. Remember to breathe. Good. These are, these are immaculate vibes, Trips, keep it up. Straight ahead. Don't negotiate with your inner b That is a big daddy boulder, man. Isn't it? Yeah, I won't make it alive, bud. That's the point. That is some bad. Here we go. This arrow's kind of... Telling us to go. Let's go! Day two, Hoynick. Today's gonna be a good day. Show them. What? Mmm. One real walk's not bread, man. Come on, man, it's too easy. Wait, let me do the curry dance. <laughs> the curry dance? I don't even know what that dance is, but I like I've never it. Even... Come on, man, it's too easy. Yo, that's a total... Good morning! Right, trips, come on. What do we do then up here? Logs. This is nutty, man. Oi, oi. What do we have here, mate? This is amazing, yo. Oh. Dude, it looks like there's a path down here. Where the f*** did they go? We've got the thermal baths of day trips. Basically, everyone at Angleville gets in a bus and we drive to this natural warm pool that's had like a big shelter built over it. Pretty epic actually. Hello! Down here we go. Oh! We'll go down this bit for a bit. Come on, man. It's too easy. Left. You could go up and see what that is. That's it. Was... Boy, what the hell, boy? Is that a catapult? No, it's a. It's an old school, 
lawnmower, I think. Or hay. Hay collector. It's the old school farm and stuff. Who's a scarecrow? Who? Wow. Matt, nah, say that again for the camera. I'm going to limit myself to two plates. Oh, man. Basically, what he's saying is at Angleville, we get a buffet breakfast. <laughs> so, you can get as many plates of food as you want. And we have been fing loving it, man. There's loads of salad, veg. And in the mornings there'll be like eggs. But there's also like bread, Nutella, hot chocolate. Oh, aye. And when you're finished all the food, then there's more there. No left, nothing. And there's more there. It's always so tempting to just to eat more. Like, especially if you're not full. You get a buffet at breakfast. Course. Three courses at lunch and another buffet at dinner. No Daniel today. Respect for just he's like my inner has defeated me. What was he said? The inner one today. The inner one today. Kind of but I guaranteed later he'll be like I wish I came. We'll see what happens. Droppings of an unknown species. Maybe we can track it and find it next. This is just the marshland. We're now entering Moisty Mire. That's like a tree house, mate. Oh my days. Oh, mate. Oh my god. We have just discovered this on the run. Set up here first and chill. You get any nuggets of wisdom while I chill, Matt? I've got one. <sighs> Many people see the world as a threatening place. And because they do, the world indeed becomes a threatening place. Right, Matt, you give us one. Have faith. And put the work in. Don't listen to your inner beach. I'm big chilling. Awesome man. I know what what's he even for? Bird watching that give me a shout. Echo! GoPro! It all comes from within. Oh, that'll wake you up, man. Basically, within the first 15 minutes of waking up, if you can get sunlight in your eyes whilst also doing exercise, that sets you up for like the perfect combination, which is sunlight in your eyes, cold exposure, and the exercise. There's one guy, but... Yeah, based on studies. Don't forget, troops. There's more than one guy on the planet. You don't always need to listen to the guy. But, pros and cons from every person. We're all our own people. Oh my days! Oh! Oh, I wonder how that looks on video. I was slapping everywhere. Hey, Bells. Punching a lucky box. <sighs> I can hear a waterfall when I'm at Unreal looking fence here, man, isn't it? Careful. It's like pure sliced up big logs. Do 
for the spado. The size of these trees, man. It's incredible. Look at that. Oof. Unreal. Wait, what's... Lego! There's straight up ducks in it. This is mental. Let's go! Here we go! Are we, are we going for it? Yeah. Look at that. There's ducks. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is an unbelievable spot. Woohoo! Okay, I'm done. That is like pierce. Oh. oh my days, man. I'm feeling pretty sore than that. Oh. Oh, man. Max living his best life. Yeah, too right. My waterfall. Thanks for everything. Oh. Look at that tree house in the back. Mate, that looks incredible. These houses are awesome. Let's go, baby! Actually, look at where we are, but man. We're in like a complete mountain hill vibe. With, with massive houses dotted about. It's some hotel. We know what much Wi Fi. I was talking to Polish kid in English. Here we go. Children playing, having fun. It's the season of love and understanding. Merry Christmas. The last morning ever of Angleville, as of now. Big up! Snow is falling, loving on a standing. It's a winter wonderland. Everything's so nice looking now. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> oh my god. That's some sort of animal. Drips! Ma! Look! There's goats, Matt. Matt, quick, there's goats, I'm not kidding. Oh my days. Oh my days, lad. We have returned. Done. Go on, son. That is actual awesome, man. Jamil was saying it's for like, it's like a park ranger. Really? Looking at animals and potentially hunting animals that like, there's too many of or something. Gangster lad, you're looking gangster. Hoinig. Stairs again. And we're off. Right. We go. Right. We've had two weeks at Angleville, so I thought I would like talk about basically <laughs> what the whole Angleville experience was like. Accommodation was completely cushy. Yeah, same with the So we first arrived there and it's literally just 
just a normal hotel in my head. Three stars. Everybody's got their room, the native speakers, which is just people that all speak English from whatever country they're from. And then you had all the participants who were all Polish kids in their own rooms. Accommodation totally sorted. Food, class, buffet breakfast, buffet dinner. Mm-hmm. Breakfast is eight fifty. Breakfast is optional. Basically. Breakfast is optional. Nine thirty, be at the prep top, so you can do whatever you want in the morning. So a lot of the time we were just getting up early, doing a workout, going for breakfast, and then being at the prep top for nine thirty. Nine fifty till ten thirty, you have a presentation session. So they're like a unique thing. You do them every morning. They're the first thing you do every morning, and it's basically your designing a presentation in English for them to present at the end of the week in English to develop their English speaking skills. And confidence with English. Yeah. The rest of the day is just conversation sessions. Conversation is literally like... Just do what you like. For example, a lot of the time, whenever I'm on a speaking session, my father would just go down to the pool table, play a couple of games of pool, he'd end up talking... <laughs> All right, Scott. <laughs> We're discussing Angleville for Michael's vlog. Am I going over guys to the Indian restaurant, like right down the street? <laughs> the whole idea is to just encourage them to speak more English. You're just trying to get them to speak more English. Other than that, just don't like leave the yeah, you can free hotel, over. but you can basically do what you like. The group activities, you just play daft, fun games. Some of the games are well good, but like, I was in my element. There was times where it was like Nerf Wars. Like, I was fully immersed in, like, winning the championship for my team in a Nerf War. It was a 1v1v1, and I won it, and I was, like, pure sliding, shooting in that, like, in my element, like, loving it. Just oh. score again! <laughs> Sorry, I just remember. I'm sure that looks like a bye-bye. Yeah, that's okay. He was like, I was in my element winning a Nerf War. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the best. Like, that is, like... Stuff I would want to do yeah. despite on angle, but Werewolves, Nerf Wars, Werewolves. Did we play Ninja this week? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. From our perspective, if you just immerse yourself in it and have a good time, which I'm sure you can imagine mm. we did, it's class. Yeah. Like, Werewolves is so fun hanging back. Right, I'm going to bring it back home with the troops. Yes. Angleville as a whole, the first day is bush, but it, as you get on with it and you realise, like, I'm here for a week, let's just send it. You just kind of open up mega and like, The more you put in, the more you'll get out, and that's facts. Like, that's just true for life, but it's so true. Like, if you look at it as a job, it's going to be a job, but if you look at it for, like, literally just... You don't have many responsibilities. You're no. just cutting about trying to be sound and funny and have a laugh and encourage people to speak English. Yeah. And mate, like, we, we have already met, like, hundreds of friends. Oh. Some of the native speakers we've met have been, like, absolute legendary people, man. Like, You've got such a unique opportunity to learn from it. You don't get to speak to these yeah. people often, and there's so many of them all together. But really, you're just having conversations, having fun, making jokes... Spending time playing games, gaining everyone's confidence, like not even just the kids' confidence in English, but also just your like social confidence and there's just it's literally just a snowball of progress. Like from day one compared to day seven of the first week, it's like everybody's infinitely more confident just in himself. Aye. It's, it's amazing. Just, the difference is yeah, a bit ridiculous like not to mention the fact that like, every day oh, yeah. is just a free buffet of food at breakfast, lunch, you just got a three course or two course for one of the weeks. For dinner, it's another buffet for free. So, so we're obviously like... And we've paid zero to do this. You have this unique opportunity to like positively influence people. No, no, don't off. get me wrong. Yeah, you do need to put in a lot of effort. You get assigned a speaking session with two random Polish kids you've never spoke to in your life and you need to somehow find a task to do or speak to them, play a mm. game for 40 minutes and you're the guy that they're looking up to kind of because you're the mentor and they're the participant. I, there's no real like teaching rules or anything but 
you need to find some sort of structure and some sort of conversational ability to hold a conversation, make jokes. You need you need to kind of let loose and just give them the opportunity to open up. Because at the start, a lot of them are well resilient. Yes. Also, there's like a pure envelope system where every day, every day on the program gets their own envelope, designs it whatever way they like. You put them on the wall, and everybody has a chance to put whatever note or message they want to put in each envelope. And by the end of it, on the bus and the way back, you take your envelope off the wall, and you can read through all these notes for all these Polish kids and like friends that we've met. And it's just a good wee thing. What's something we've learned? Something I've learned is you really need to be yourself in this life we've got. In terms of just like confidence in making jokes or confidence in speaking up or confidence in speaking to random people. In a, in a scenario like Angleville, you need to kind of, because you're given the, the, the title as a mentor, you're kind of like... We are older than all the kids there. You, we speak English and they're there to speak English, so like... Fundamentally, whether you're confident or not, try to speak to somebody else in a language that you're not familiar with is going to be more difficult. Mm -hmm. So, in theory, we should be the ones that are more confident. But obviously, yes. we go and there's all these Polish kids coming yeah. about, they're all talking to each other, and we're like, ah. We've never done anything like this before in our life, so yes. there's obviously moments where we're like, this is mental, I've never done anything like this. What do I do? And I'm like, in the moment, looking about, like, I'm here. And I'm like, what do I do here? And I need to overcome that. And I did overcome it. At day in, day out. And then by the end of the first week, I'm like, that was sound. And then you go, and then I'm like, I've got another week to do this. And I'm actually looking forward to it because I've got all that first week experience. And then the next week, I was way more myself. So if you do it, do not look at it as a free holiday. Like, you're there to give your time and energy to these kids and if you do they will give it back and mm. you genuinely they will make you laugh you will learn from 100%. kids like, like I got beat by a 12 year old girl at chess and I got completely humbled talking to a Polish kid who knows English words that you don't even know alright Jonas how was the run? good Okay, cool. I, as uneducated listener, didn't. Uh... Can I ask you a philosophy question? Bear in mind, this is in within 30 seconds, and I was like, yeah. And they said, do you think time exists? Or it was like, what do you think about time, or do you think time exists? And then, so within a minute of speaking, I'm now saying how I think time's an illusion and all that mm -hmm. stuff. In one session will be like mega deep chats about the meaning of life sometimes then the next one will just be like a, a game of hangman making a joke about a taxi driver and you're just laughing with Polish people Yeah. and then it'll go from that to then lunchtime will happen and then you'll be like making up s tribe jokes with a soup lip <laughs> getting all these Polish kids laughing and that just being daft but like my point being it can go from like quite serious quite daft to then one where it's like the person's way more reserved and it's like switch 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 so it's like the mind does constantly going on the full day something to add is like so by the end of the week you start becoming like ma or scottish ma and i'm mike and <laughs> all these polish kids know you you have your own inside jokes funny part are going with them and then they're like pure sad to see you leave and they're like wanting to get selfies with you and you're like, I don't know, it's just a cool experience, man. You're spending eight hours a day in and around this big hotel. You feel like you've known these people for so long because mm -hmm. it's such a, like an intensive day. Like, 12 hours a day, you're seeing all these people communicating with them and then you go to bed and the same thing happens again. All of that for six days. You come out of it and you're like, I feel as if I've known these people my whole life, man. Like really the day, leave. the day hasn't started, like on the rotor, but you still need to be Mike the mentor or Matt the mentor. <laughs> you don't really get much of a break. Lunches are one, and then say you're finished lunch for like two ish, 
and then free time ends at half three so you've got like an hour and a half of free time mm-hmm. but then so there's one day we're like gonna go for a a nap and then one of the kids is like oh do you want to play werewolves and you're like oh I uh, want to play werewolves because werewolves totally is like unbelievable play. but I also have had like no time aye so yeah you do end up just getting completely immersed mm-hmm. by in short it was class Oh, it's the food situation. The food situation, incredible. Morning, there was toast, cold <laughs> meat, plenty of salad, jam, Nutella. Breakfast, there marmalade. was always like eggs, some form of eggs and sausage. Yeah. At night, there was always like Nutella and toast, jam, marmalade. There was always teas and coffees available. Salads galore. Oh, salads salad nice. galore. I've never, I've never ate that much salad in my I'm life. Constantly eating See, peppers, it's, tomato, cucumber. It's it's free refill yes. salad. The bowls are like this size, and it's like fresh, fresh salad with like nice dressing on it. You just end up. Uh, you can imagine me and Mike were taking a bit too far some of the days, but uh, another thing every week on each program was always one like field trip they call it. The first week, a guy came to the hotel and we did archery. Mm-hmm. The second week, we went to like a thermal bath. Like, it was just like a huge swimming pool with an unreal spa. No, but it was thermal. To have the opportunity to like, one of the days just like play archery and it was like a, you're like trying to show each other, you've got these masks on, like, totally just in, in my element, like having so much fun. And then the other day we're just going to saunas, a, an ice room, like basically just a freezer you walk into. And then there was like a well good slide, like a toilet slide. All for free, included in Angleville. Just like, have fun guys for a day. It was unreal, man. Yeah. Seriously good, I'd recommend. Yeah.